Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie of Grow Folds, and today we'll be visiting some big box stores, grocery stores, just to see what kind of plants we have available in the North Dallas area. And uh, it is a rainy day, but I am going to be visiting the HEB in Frisco, Texas. So for all of the plant foldies, thank you for tuning in and uh, participating in the live chat premieres. I typically get a live chat premiere around seven, maybe eight, maybe later, but for everybody who's supported me, I appreciate it. So as you can see, this HEB has um, some plants right over here for $9.97. This one is for $9.97, the Sago Palm. So they have like an outdoor lawn and patio area. So this is where I'm at. Um, I'm not in the main grocery area. And then we have some Dracaena Hawaii's right over here. We've got some ZZ plants, a quarter line Hawaii plant, and we have some assorted succulents and more Sago Palm right over here. Now, some of those exotic angels in those three and a half inch um, planters aren't looking too good. Um, and then we have some Epipremnum arium pothos. They just look a little dehydrated and just need a little bit of water. And then we have some Alocasia right over here. Not sure what type of Alocasia, but it's it's here. And then we have a bunch of planters and then some really large um, majestic palms I swear you will always see majesty palms anywhere I actually get a lot of my plant supplies at HEB because they're more cost effective like my perlite my insecticidal soap we have some monstera deliciosa right over here that's a nice leaf unfurling love that and we have some more sago palm right over here the thing about I, I like about HEB is they do um, source from multiple areas and um, it's, it's a place where you can get some good plants and some rare plants. So we're gonna see if they have any, they typically get rare plants from Max and Miles. Um, so we're gonna see, oftentimes you go to grocery stores and you will have to go into the floral section. So the house plants are in the floral section. So we're just gonna pan over here and see. So this is, um, whoa, look at this right here. Do you guys see these like um, fenestrated Monstera Deliciosa leaves? Are these like cuttings? For $5.98, you get two. So does that mean you can like propagate these and put them in water? Let me see. Or are these just the leaves? Let's just take a look. Um, I'm trying to get it out, trying to get it out. Oh no. So it looks like they cut it right um, um, above the node. So these are beautiful Monstera Deliciosa leaves, but it looks like they just cut up the um, the node. So unfortunately, they, they will never root just because there's not a node. That's unfortunate because I would think that that'd be cool to actually have um, the node so you can root it for $5.98. But we do have a bunch of Philanopsis orchids right over here. This is definitely a staple at um, grocery stores and HEB has quite a bit of them. What I like about HEB is they do source these orchids from Texas growers. So it's another um, grocery store that definitely supports local Texas business. And we have different varieties, different sizes. Um, I will say Philanopsis orchids are the ones that you will see the most out of any grocery or big box store. So I just want to pan over here. These look like they are for twenty dollars so they're a little bit more pricey than what you would get i would recommend going to trader joe's of all places to get orchids just because they're very cost effective they have enough diversity in species to where you don't have to go buy all of your orchids at lowe's now lowe's definitely has the most diversity in orchids but look at how beautiful the blooms are you know going to grocery plant shopping you will actually be reminded that you might be able to grow flowering plants i know oftentimes we grow aeroids and whatnot and they are not known for flowering at least getting these beautiful blooms but i think this is really interesting right here so they have these custom um planters with different types of plants this one right here is for 37.98 so it has like some pothos and some syngonia mixed in i'm not really a fan of the ribbon though and we have some more right over here this one's 61.98 this one is a um, epipremnum arium pothos on a totem and we have some more lucky bamboo right over here do you guys grow luck lucky bamboo i used to think they were really cool and i really thought they would bring me a lot of luck but i always feel like luck is really what you make of it um still the nice looking plants and then we have some more um Kalanchoe, we have some mums or chrysanthemum right over here. The yellow ones are really known to be the New Year's mum. And then we have a bunch of assorted bulb flowers like daffodils, hyacinth, and um, tulips. $4.98 for these hyacinths right here. They always remind me of Animal Crossing. I remember when I was able to like crossbreed and get a pink hyacinth. That was really cool. And a purple hyacinth. So. Let me know if you guys play Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. I'm a big Animal Crossing fan. 
I actually have a whole island where it's cherry blossom theme with um, just dog villagers. But we'll go back to plants because I know that's what you guys are here for is plants. And I don't know, just looking at all of these um, Rager begonias, they are so cool. Like look at how beautiful the blooms are. And what I like about the, um, the foliage too is it is a begonia. It just doesn't have all of like the variegation or leaf patterns of like a Rex begonia. But this is really cool. And I was just curious for anybody who grows begonias, do you grow these um, flowering begonia indoors? Or is this more of like a patio shade type begonia? Maybe places where they can, they don't get really harsh winters. Do you grow them in the ground for your landscapes? Just let me know in the comments because I would love to learn. Um, and then we have some more of these um, Rieger begonias right here. These are for $4.98, so that's not a bad price at all. And these are all sourced um, from a Texas grower. Um, HEB is definitely a, um, a grocery chain that really focuses on, on Texas products. So if you are in Texas and the DFW market or Houston market, definitely check it out. And you can see this is a really cool philodendron pink princess or a philodendron uribescence pink princess. This one is for $7.98, but it's in like a basket with some like moss and also a um, syngonium. So it looks like maybe they have plants, just the planters just being covered up. But this is like a combination of plants. I'm not really a fan of that just because I feel like um, there's different growth patterns for it. Now, I think the, the seven seventy one ninety eight is um, because of the philodendron pink princess. That is a beautiful syngonium as well. And these, um, you know, philodendron pink princess are sourced by Maxim Miles. And we're going to um, pan over here. So there's a couple more plants on this side as well. Um, we're just going to look at some of the plants slowly and see what they've got available. Um, we have a Hedra Helix, guys. This Hedra Helix um, or English Ivy is a beautiful one. This one's also custom blooms by HEB. This one is for $48.98. So it looks like it's on like a planter and, and just a really lush Hedra Helix. And then right over here, I think, is another Syngonium in a custom planter. We're going to see how much it costs. If I can just get a hold of it, I can't. But that was a beautiful Syngonium nonetheless. And then we have some um, interesting fern right here. We have a Spathophyllum or a Peace Lily in this planter with some Hedra Helix. Um, some more Hedra Helix. This is a Hedra Helix, Syngonium, and Riger Begonia um, basket, custom basket. Really nice combination. I would just be curious to see if the Hedra Helix wouldn't end up getting spider mites with all of these um, plants. I just would think that they would need a little bit more humidity. But look at how beautiful this Hedra Helix is or this English Ivy. Very lush. Um, we're going to see how much it costs. This one is for $68.98. I definitely wouldn't buy this combination of like a Syngonium Hedra Helix. Um, both plants are very susceptible to spider mites. I, I would not, I would not buy it, but nonetheless, it's nice to look at. And this one is for $25.98, another Hedra Helix or English Ivy. So the thing about it is I've always wondered, you know, for like English Ivy, how they don't get like um, spider mites in a grocery store. So that's just a question I would ask. And then we have a hanging basket, a string of dolphins right over here. Really beautiful um, looking um, planter. And this one is for... $19.98. So a little bit pricey for a little hanging basket of string of dolphins. I don't really grow any string of anything. I would consider doing um, maybe a string of hearts variegated, but that, that would be it. I just feel like they need a lot of bright and direct light and they get a little leggy. I do think that this um, string of pearls um, is really cool. String of pearls. And these are all by Living House. So um, these are all sourced again by HEB and these are local grocery um, or local growers. Now, I think this is really cool. So this is a Calcillaria plant. And what I think is interesting is look at the blooms right here. They look like, like, I don't know, maybe some type of like sea urchin. And then how much is this? Uh, it doesn't have a price, unfortunately, but that's really cool. Some kind of sea urchin or some kind of like alien thing. Cause look at that, just the shape of it. Really, really cool blooms right over here. Now, let me know in the comments if this is another plant that you could possibly grow indoors. I would assume that since it's a blooming flowering plant, it needs a lot of bright indirect light at the least, or maybe even um, full sunlight. I just find that, you know, grocery stores will always capitalize on floral. So yeah, that was just an interesting one. And these are all um, air plants or telancia air plants. This one is for $4.98, that's really cool. 
I might consider air plants because they're actually a living plant. It's not, sometimes they think that they're, they're fake plants, but they're definitely living and they're living their best life right now being on that um, gold bowl. And then obviously we have some miniature anthuriums. I still don't know the price for these, but these are beautiful. I really like the purple lavender one right here. The planter is cute. Um, I think the planters would have been better if they just didn't have any texture like if it was just a solid like smooth matte planter that would have been really nice um plant folies let me know what you guys think so far of these plants if you are going to be inspired to look more closely at grocery store plants just because big box stores you will always find plants but like grocery stores you would be surprised about some of the rare plant finds you would find um this one right here is a miles uh, max and miles um plant um this one is for 9.99 this is a syngonium robusta um this is a beautiful syngonium syngoniums are my favorite plants to grow the reason why they're my favorite is they're easy care and the propagation um, process is so easy you can literally multiply and grow a whole syngonium um forest so really likes um like that i like that there is a green underside of the syngonium i will say syngonium are really the, the pests that they're most susceptible would be mealybugs and spider mites. So just be on the lookout for that. I always love looking at coffee plants. I've never grown a coffee plant, but what I love about coffee plants is you can see that they have that like shiny foliage. They're a little bit more delicate. They kind of remind me of like the China doll plant. And then we have another type of fern right over here. I feel like this is um, a fern that's a little bit too delicate for me. The foliage is just a little too delicate for me to really add in my collection. Nonetheless, it's it's cute. Those are for $9.99. And then we have some more um, assorted succulents right over here. We've got a really beautiful bird's nest um, fern. This one's nice. I like the neon foliage um, more so. And this is by Max and Miles again. Max and Miles for HEB. This is the, basically HEB's like houseplant um, brand. And this one is a beautiful um, Peperomia or Tusifolia. There's the green version. It's still nice. The thing about it is, look at right over here. I knew that HEB would be carrying that. I was looking for a Monstera Thai constellation at this location, but we are um, treated with some more Philodendron Ring of Fires. Beautiful Philodendron Ring of Fires absolutely stunning variegation a really nice size pot not a, a pan of the, you know i'm not a fan of the planters but this one um is the ring of fire and it's in a grocery store ask you know tell me that you would see a ring of fire about three to four years ago at a heb or any type of grocery store i would say you're dreaming but now it's gotten to the point where these plants are um, more as accessible and these ones are for 21.98 so it's a little bit cheaper than the growers bench version at walmart um from philodendron ring of fire so those are for 24 um 48 so just a little bit um less expensive and actually the variegation in size are comparable to each other so if you are in the dfw area definitely check out the heb in uh, north frisco just to see if you would like to get a ring of fire i did want to go look at this really cool agave right there love that green on green variegation that's another favorite of mine and then look at this beautiful um succulent right here i'm gonna go do my research on some succulents i think if i was going to add any succulents these two would be the one just because look at how beautiful that variegation is and even this purple green variegation or this lavender color right here this is absolutely stunning the thing about syngoniums and how much is this one right here this one is for 14.99 um the thing about um succulents is they just you don't want to overwater them i think that's the reason why a lot of people kill their succulents like you can literally not water them for like a month or two and they are good but i did want to pan over to the ring of fires this is a beautiful epipremnum arium enjoy it might be mistaken as a pearls and jade or maybe it's a pearls and jade not 100 percent sure i think it's a enjoy though enjoy have been a little bit less um common to find at big box stores or grocery stores so i'm not sure if it's just the growers haven't been sourcing um these places but i this is one of my favorite um epipremnum ariums or pothos i would love to do a bunch of cuttings of these propagate them and put them with like the global green pothos i think that'd be cool but i did want to look at these ring of fires again absolutely stunning ring of fires i'm happy with mine i need to repot mine in one of these um planters that i bought from target called threshold and what else do we got oh here is another discovery so now we've found some i would say philodendron pink princess 
and philodendron white night at heb so if you are in the dallas area definitely come around here these are like discreetly placed so this one is actually a philodendron um white night and you know you can tell that it's a white night because of the stems the stems have white um on it the philodendron pink princess has white and pink um margins on their stems that is a nice looking one right here let's pull this one out and this one actually is a philodendron pink princess you can see there is a little bit more pink on the stems right over here and this is a fairy tale collection by max and miles so um i'm thinking like growers bench might have sourced it because they look very similar in size and even the planters so um i'm not 100 percent sure these ones are also for 21.98 and this is beautiful variegation of this um philodendron white knight um these are beautiful variegations and the pricing is not bad at all so yeah this is a philodendron white knight it's a little bit smaller so not all of the philodendron are created equal but um I'm really satisfied with the ones that I bought at Walmart a couple weeks back. I will say the white variegation on my pink pr white princess is browning. So I don't know if I need to put some silica just to help with the variegation. And we have some more philodendron white. I mean, philodendron ring of fire is right over here. This one is also the fairy tale collection. Um, these ones are in the same size planters. And look at how beautiful the variegation is on these ring of fires. I'm actually curious and maybe even wanting to experiment buying another ring of fire and planting like, you know, two in a pot to make it more full. Or have you guys like just, do you think that it'd be better just to grow one and just let it really develop? I do like the growth pattern of it. It doesn't necessarily have to grow up a pole. It becomes more like clumpy, I guess. Um, but these are beautiful ring of fires. I love the variegation on that one especially. It's got some really strong sectoral variegation. Ring of fire is amazing. I do need to get the philodendron ju jungle boogie because then I'll have the philodendron golden crocodile, philodendron ring of fire, and then the jungle boogie will just be the typical green one. But I am going to pan over here. So as somebody who's shopping for their groceries, you'd be surprised if you didn't look closer to see that there might be some like wish list plants that you can find at a grocery store like H-E or just any grocery stores we're going to visit a couple today in a big box store but i did want to point this out this is really awesome considering like lowe's doesn't have any of these like philodendron pink princess white princess often and ring of fire so i think that um grocery stores this year is the place to be definitely check that out and so that was a really cool experience to go to this heb there's another heb i'm going to try to go to soon that's in my area but this is we've visited the mckinney one now we visited the um the of uh, this frisco one and now we're going to go to another grocery store this is actually night shopping and this one is at sprouts farmers market now i visited the sprouts before where they had a bunch of these ficus lyrata um for 99 cents so we're going to see if they're still available and they had some like hanging baskets by living trends for um 4.99 i ended up getting a epipremnum arium pinatum um not epipremnum pinatum cebu blue sorry so last time we went here they had a bunch of dormant roses and now they're pretty much sold out these were originally um 14.99 now they are 2.99 on sale and there's only three of them left so really um fast um that they sold once they put them on sale i know that this sprouts i talked to the staff and they say they they really do deep discounts because they try to liquidate their plan so um this one is off of custer road actually across the street from the um, home depot in mckinney so um there's just plan options for me to visit and you can see that they still have those hanging baskets right over there um, we have some more Philanopsis orchids right over here. The miniature forms. These are really cool. And these are for $12.99. I want to go show you what these look like. So if you go to a grocery store, um, the staple of a plant you will see is a orchid for sure a philanopsis orchid to be more specific now with philanopsis orchids you just have to water them maybe once a week thoroughly and then let their roots dry out completely and yes these are still the hanging baskets on sale they're a little bit more dehydrated because i don't think they've watered these since i visited this one is a, a red marantha beautiful little red marantha i think this is salvageable then we have another epipremnum arium um, enjoy right here you can really see that it is enjoy just because there's not a lot of speckling it's very much sectoral variegation i ended up buying one like this um, about a week ago 
So I really like that um, easy plant. It's a little bit slower growing of a, a pothos than the other pothos. And then we have another um, philodendron heteraceum green form or a philodendron cordatum, however you want to call them. This is for $4.99. This used to be $14.99. So you're saving quite a bit of money and the planter itself is really nice. I do like the macrame um, hanging as well. And then we have another Epipremnum arium neon pothos. This definitely needs some water because I feel like if you put water, it will perk right back up. And then we have another Epipremnum panatum Cebu Blue Pothos. This was really nice. I was looking for a bigger hanging basket, but I can settle for this small one. And I ended up buying it for $4.99 recently. So there's still quite a bit of um, plants on sale at this Sprouts. Um, I really like that. Let me know if you guys like the, um, the orchids I'm featuring here or what you think about um, grocery store plants. Because right now, it looks like all groceries are carrying all of these bulb plants like these hyacinth. And these ones are for, let's see, $7.99 I believe. And this is a beautiful pink one. Hyacinth are so fragrant. I absolutely love it. They smell so good and I might actually just add it. I just feel like if I add it though, it's going to be very seasonal and it'll end up just dying um, after the season. But these are beautiful nonetheless. Um, let me know if you guys grow hyacinth. Um, they always remind me of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you play that on your Nintendo Switch, let's connect. Maybe you can visit my island. I don't know. Um, I know that the plant foldies or my grow folds um, plant community is really growing. I love that you guys all tune in to my live chat premieres. I love interacting with you. you know, there, there's um, a couple of ones I wanted to shout out, like thank you, Alfred. Thank you for Dreaming Green Nursery. Um, thank you, Jai, for hopping on. Thank you, Tree, for hopping on. There's a whole list, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have that list down for the next video. I definitely want to shout out all of my regulars for sure. So if I forgot you, I um, don't, don't mean to. It's just I also have to comment on the plants as well. But um, all of the regulars that come visit on the chats, thank you so much. Now this is really cool. This looks like a Dracaena white margin, but it's not. It's actually um, by Urban Jungle. This one is actually a bromeliad, just not in bloom. Um, that's really cool too. I like that Urban Jungle um, is also sourcing to grocery stores. I find that quite interesting. And then we have another Alocasia poly right here or African mass Alocasia. You can see there's some yellowing here, which kind of signifies that potentially it could have spider mites. That's exactly the, the signs of spider mite damage or spider mites especially on a poly or alocasia and these ones are also the standard form these um we're told that they're 14.99 so we're gonna see what that looks like um and then we have another ginseng ficus right here that's really cool as well i like that a lot actually and then what else do we have right over here we're just gonna look at this alocasia this is a really cool um calathea vitata I actually would love to add this Calathea just because of how beautiful the green on green variegation is. And it doesn't have like the purple undersides. It's more on green. I like the green um, on green variegation as well. I think green plants, you know, I think a lot of people want variegated plants, me included. Um, but green is also nice. And we have some hanging baskets here. So these hanging baskets are sourced from Urban Jungle. And this Epipremnum Aria Marble Queen Pothos is $16.99. So like, look at how lush this is. I'm actually considering buying this particular one. I saw it last week. Because if you go to Vigoro at, at Home Depot, they're for $19.98 and they're not nearly as lush and trailing. And um, they're a little bit more expensive. Now, um, Costa Farms also has some beautiful hanging baskets, but they're also $19.98. So I'm thinking if I'm going to go buy another hanging basket like this, I will go ahead and look at Sprouts because $16.99 is not bad for this. And it's already trailing. It's got pretty decent variegation. You know, I could cut it back a little bit to get rid of some of the greens or just really flood it with a lot of light. And then I'll be able to encourage more variegation. That's the thing about Marble Queen Pothos. You have to give it um, variegation, not variegation. You have to give it more light. Otherwise, it will revert back to green. Same thing with like the golden pothos, which is right above there. It looks like it's a little dehydrated. And these ones are for $6.99, um, a Pachira aquatica or a money tree plant um, braided. This one's really cool. And I've seen this a lot where they have like the coins to look like money. It's like for the money tree, that's a little corny. Not really for me, but I do like the plant. I'm looking for a variegated version. And we have some more hanging baskets right over here. This one is some type of fern. Let me pull this one. I saw this in the corner. This is a... Um, 
Marantha Lemon Lime or a Green Marantha. This is really nice for $16.99. I see this often at like Lowe's for $19.98 um, by Exotic Angels Costa Farm, but this one is actually a little bit more cost effective and it's still pretty healthy looking. There might just be a little bit of yellowing. Um, definitely hope that somebody will pick that up because I don't know if they necessarily water all their house plants here. I know Whole Foods definitely does and I'm so happy that they they do that but this is you know their little section um it, and surprisingly that little section had some really nice plant finds for anybody and then they have some more overflow of plants here these are all for $14.99 so we've got some epipremnum arium golden pothos a dracaena and uh ficus elastica just a regular one right over here that's really cool as well so if you like you know rubber trees i'm not really a fan of the sphagnum moss or the moss fake moss there there's a diphenbachia right over here um Somebody was telling me actually Diphenbachia in the comments can actually tolerate um, partial shade. So I might consider it. There is a Diphenbachia at Lowe's I want to get. It's got that green on green variegation. So on my next shopping trip at Lowe's, since it's on sale for $14.98, I'm going to get it. But we have some more Diphenbachia right over here. Um, what else do we have? We have some Phalaenopsis orchids. I will feature these because I think Sprouts has some really nice looking orchids. And we have some more um, urban jungle plants right over here for $14.99. We've got another Alocasia poly. And you can see the difference between this Alocasia poly versus the one in the crate. This one doesn't have any yellowing leaves. So that one is still fairly healthy and hasn't been attacked by spider mites. And there's another Alocasia poly right over here. I do like the texture of the leaves. I just wish it wasn't as susceptible to spider mites. I mean, have you guys ever had plants that you really want to grow, but you know it's going to be susceptible to spider mites? Um, Alocasia poly is one of them. This is a beautiful um, bird's nest um, fern. Again, this is really nice. I would probably add one of these if I actually had more space in my collection, but I am going to try to get this bromeliad right over here. But we're going to take a look at the, how beautiful this Alocasia poly is. Absolutely stunning and yeah really nice looking right over here and then we have um, another bromeliad we have some some more epipremnum arium um, hanging baskets these are all for $4.99 this one is the Cebu blue pothos looking very dehydrated and let's see what else we have over here we have some more um, Philanopsis orchids right here and that's the thing whenever you go to any grocery store Philanopsis orchids are typically um, the staple at any grocery store and these are for $14.99 look at how beautiful the patterns are on this specific orchid and that's the thing about orchids they come in so many colors varieties I would um, assume there are hundreds of different types of orchids I love orchids as well I just don't grow them in my um, house collection of plants just yet I'm definitely looking to get me a Vanda orchid, but you know, Philanopsis orchids are just easy to find. And apparently their blooms can last for about two months or so, just depending on your care. So that's something that I might look at for the future. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep looking at some more of these Philanopsis orchids right over here. And that's the thing about late night shopping. There's not a lot of people out and about. So um, Sprouts is not too far from um, where I'm based at and I love it. And let's see, we have some cute little um, live transplanters and these are more of like the Valentine's um, season. Um, look at this one right over here. These are some bird's nest Sansevieria, really nice looking planter. I actually like the matte finish on it. It looks like a candy, some kind of candy. And then we've got a philodendron moonlight. That's a very small um, philodendron moonlight, but you know, as it matures and grows, it's gonna be a beautiful plant right here. And then we have another really cute um, Calathea macchiana. Look at how so tiny that is. And it's just interesting to see these plants in such a small form. And this is another um, Sansevieria um, fernwood. I really like that a lot. And these are all for $9.99 um, by Live Trends. So um, we're gonna go walk over here again and just take a look at some more of these plants by Urban Jungle. So um, the next one right over here is we're going to be looking at another big box store. This is the Lowe's Prosper. I visit this Lowe's often, maybe every couple of days to kind of show you what kind of plants they have here. I'm hoping that this place um, was restocked. The last time I visited it, it looks like they were getting ready to restock. Um, there was a lot of plants that were kind of liquidated and um, they've kind of made some more room. But we're going to walk over here. It has been raining a lot in North Dallas, so it's been very gloomy. The sun hasn't really been out. I don't really like being out and about when it's gray and gloomy. But, you know, plants actually give you guys a boost of energy, at least for me. I love looking at plants. 
And right over here, we have some camellia. And I remember that um, plant tour I did um, at Callaway's Nursery where there were so many beautiful blooming camellias. This is a bush that I would love to add to my, um, my outdoor garden at some point. I just have to get better shade. So I'm just waiting for some of my trees to grow a little bit larger and create a really nice canopy so it could shield some of those um, shrubs like camellia or azalea that need a little bit more um, shade. But we're gonna walk over here and it looks like um, there are less plants. So they're starting to move some plants around. Um, so I'm gonna assume that within the next couple of days, they'll get a big pallet of plants and I'll be able to kind of show you and report what plants they have. And then this has been a Calathea that's in water by Live Transit. I've been looking at for about a month and a half. It hasn't grown any leaves. It is about to lose one leaf, but you know, part of me wants to take this home just cause I've seen this plant um, for a while, but I don't know if I really wanna spend $14.99 on a rooted propagation essentially. Um, I think the roots are really cool. This one must have lost the plant. Um, I don't even know. Oh, um, I didn't really see that um, pothos, but this one right here is a really cool one as well. This is an aglonema red siam. Um, it has some roots, not a lot. The calathea has more roots actually than the, the three that I've shown so far, but these are plants that have been around for about a month, th month and a half. And then we're gonna be looking at these cool hanging baskets. So what I love about these hanging baskets is the macrame. And this one is by um, uh, Urban Jungle, Urban Jungle. And this is an actual um, Epiprenum Panatum, Cebu Blue. I happen to get one, not this size of a hanging basket. And I'm hoping to let it trail down some more. I love Cebu Blue Pothos just because of the narrow leaves and the, um, the silvery foliage. This one is for $16.98. Where I'm from in the Philippines, they call that um, tibatib. So those actually grow just like weeds all over the Philippines. So it's just really interesting that you are selling, you know, big box stores are selling it for $16.98 when you can literally go outside and find it just crawling up, you know, a coconut tree or something like that. Um, we have some more African violets right over here. These are actually not in bloom. So it's interesting that they're still in African, selling African violets. These ones are for Five forty-eight um, African violets. Uh, they were, like I said before, they remind me of my grandmother. She grew a lot of African violets. Um, I eventually will add an African violet to my house collection. I'm going to look for some variegated one, and this is really beautiful. So this is a philodendron micans, and what the philodendron micans is basically like a velvety form of the philodendron heteraceum. Um, I love it just because it is a very velvety um, texture. I love the veining of the leaves and it grows like a weed. It's very easy to grow and propagate. Um, so that one is by Urban Jungle. And then we have another one right over here, another hanging basket. This is an Epipremnum Arium Neon Pothos. This is for $16.98. Um, I love the Neon Pothos. I think it's probably one of my favorite pothos. It's a toss up between like Global Green Pothos and Enjoy, but I do like the neon colors. Like I love plants that have that neon color. So you'll think of plants like Philodendron Moonlight, um, Pothos Neon, um, Philodendron Hideracium, Lemon Lime. I love that yellow foliage. And then we have another um, Urban Jungle right here. This is just an Epipremna Arium Golden Pothos. Golden Pothos, don't sleep on it. It is a very easy plant. I think most of the time people will get a, a Golden Pothos to start their houseplant journey just because it's so easy. It, has, um, it can tolerate lower light conditions um, and it grows really fast and you can propagate it um, quickly as well. And then we have another um, Syngonium Neon Robusta over here in a hanging basket. Um, so the thing about it is with um, Syngoniums is you can grow them up a pole and when you do their leaves upsize and get larger or you can let them trail although their leaves tend to um, start getting smaller as it trails down. And then we have some more African violets right here. I do love the African violets just because of the foliage as well, not even just for the blooms. They just have a really fuzzy texture. It almost feels succulent-like. And then we have a Scandapsis right over here in a hanging basket. The only thing about Scandapsis is as much as I love Scandapsis, just the silvery tone, it is a slower grower and I'm, they can be a little bit finicky. And then here's another Epipremum Arium Golden Pothos in a hanging basket. We have, um, more hanging baskets around the corner but as you can see this Lowe's doesn't have as many plants so far I mean they used to be this one used to be super full and now there's just less and less plants every time I visit which is fine because that just signifies that they will be restocking and you got to think this is just the end of January it, at least in North Dallas we still have very very cold weather 
Um, let's see, we have another Dracaena Hurricane or a Dorado Dracaena. I actually like this. I would like to add one to my collection. And then we have another Calathea Lancifolia. This is by um, Urban Jungle as well. So somebody asked me to feature a lot more Urban Jungle plants. So this is what I'm going to do, at least for this haul right here. This is for $22.98. Um, what I like about um, Urban Jungle is they do have some nice, healthy looking plants. I think their um, planters are nice. I just wish they would be a little bit more minimalistic in their planters. Um, but that's just me being picky. This is a Ficus Elastica Ruby. Um, we have some more ficus elasticas right over here. I do think that if you're going to look for a ficus elastica or a rubber tree, you need to go to Trader Joe's for that. They have better and more cost effective ones. This one is a philodendron cordatum that I pulled down. And what else do we have over here? So big box plant shopping. It's really nice. I do appreciate you guys for always tuning in. Um, the live chats are always fun and you know i might be featuring the same plants kind of over and over but if you like listening to me talk about plants i mean just tune in because i do plan on trying to get as many plant um, videos to you daily as much as possible right now i've had to reduce it down to one video um in the evening around set between the hours of seven and eight maybe even nine depending on what time i can get the the footage ed edited it does take quite a bit and i think what takes quite a bit is as you can see i flash the plant ids let me know in the comments if that's what something you want me to continue to do um because like i mean like right over here this is a philodendron heteracium lemon lime i've said this multiple times but i'm really looking for a costa farms exotic angels hanging basket i would snag that in a heartbeat i think that's such a beautiful plant um which one do you like better the heteracium lemon lime or the epipremnum arium neon they 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 look very similar like there's one over here and then we have some more um hanging baskets of pothos right over here so epipremnum Ar arium is a latin scientific name of pothos i like to use um both but look at this that is a neon pothos or epipremnum arium and this one is for $16.98 and this is a hanging dome i actually like the pattern of this one it, i just like matte finishes for planters i think they're very nice i'm not really into like the glaze ceramic ones unless it's like the japanese um ceramics so that's another subject i would like to discuss on a, a later video this one is a philodendron cordatum or a philodendron heteracium or what you call it, a heart shaped philodendron this is just a green version we have you know the variegated ones like the philodendron brazil philodendron rio philodendron cream splash there's just a lot of um, variations and we also have the philodendron lemon lime um cordatum or heteracium whichever one you want to call it um, that one's actually nice it's actually trailing that's something that i would um, add to my collection as well but all these hanging baskets are super cute we have some more um, dracaena right over here that is a dracaena hurricane we've got some crotons we've got some very juvenile ponytail palms these are all urban jungle plants um, this one is the dracaena hurricane or dorado whichever one you want to call it i do like how the leaves kind of swirl and curl um, if you want to see larger forms of that, go to my Callaway's tour, plant nursery tour. You can see that they, um, they actually get really large. And these are for $12.98. I also like Dracaena just because they get large, but they don't really require nearly as much light. And the watering conditions, they can tolerate a little bit, you know, under watering. This one is a croton. I'm not sure exactly what croton this is. It doesn't look like a Petra. It might be something else. So I'm still learning about crotons. And then we have a ponytail palm. And this is really interesting. I'm going to um, zoom in a little bit over here. You can see that it hasn't um, gotten like the base yet. And this is for $13.98 by Urban Jungle. So I love Urban Jungle plants. I haven't necessarily bought one quite yet just because I feel like I don't need to be buying an Urban Jungle plant for the planter. I think that's the reason why they're plants tend to be a little bit more expensive than like an Acosta Farms just because of the the planter it's in but you know they, they have healthy plants I've never really seen unhealthy um urban jungle plants like look at this Dracaena right over here I am about Dracaena I feel like Dracaena can be viewed at least this type of Dracaena from the top view so maybe having it um you know in your your ceiling not ceiling um your floors um and looking down or you can put it up on like a plant stand and look at the sides of the leaves just because you can see all of the margins and the variegation of the plant so 
Um, let me know if you guys actually collect Dracaena. I haven't necessarily started collecting Dracaena, but that is something that I will um, add. I only ended up getting one Dracaena, and that's a Dracaena white aspen. And the thing is, my white aspen actually started having some of the white variegation crisp. So I'm going to have to like cut some of the brown spots up. This is a red marantha right over here. Really nice looking one. This one looks a little dehydrated, so it needs just a little bit of water. Those are also for $13.98. So that's the thing. If you're going to ask me um, what big box I like, I do think that um, Lowe's typically has more um, diversity and variety in their plants. But nonetheless, like I even Home Depot, you'll be able to f find some plants. And then Walmart is coming uh, out with some really nice rare philodendron. So it's just interesting to see what kind of plants we will see this spring and summer season. Just know that at least in my channel, Growfold, you will try to I will try to get you as much daily content and even report that. Um, I do like the fact that we've been able to like grow a plant community slowly but steadily. I see a lot of you guys um, really becoming regulars. I love that just because it does give me um, just joy just being able to interact with you guys. And as you can see, I've been showing you the um, plant ID. So as I talk, um, you'll get the plant IDs and I hope that it has become really helpful for you to get familiarized with the plants. Um, this is an Epipremnum Arium Neon, very easy to take care of. Um, you can let the water dry, I mean, let the soil dry completely in water, or sometimes you can keep it a little bit more moist. Um, Pothos or ne um, Epipremnum Arium are a little bit more forgiving. Same thing with ferns. Now, the thing about ferns is you definitely need to keep the soil moist. They don't want to dry out completely and they do require a little bit more higher humidity. And, you know, I talk about humidity a lot. Honestly, you could just go on Amazon and buy a nice humidifier. And as long as you get your humidity is between the, um, the range of like 55 to 65, you should be able to even grow like Calathea. Um, one large humidifier put in a room, like my living room has a really strong humidifier and it's doing just fine. Um, you can see this Pepperonia um, obtusifolia variegata right there, very beautiful plant. And I actually really like this Sansevieria right over here. Um, not know the specific kind, all I know it is a bird's um, nest type of Sansevieria. I just want to put it out there, look at that. Even the planter for once actually really matches because they have like the lining of it. And it's just, it's a nice looking planter as well. I love the bottoms of the planter, that's really cute. I just wish they would have one with like just a solid matte color with no like um, texture etched in to the planter. But there you go, you get a lot of um, different types of urban jungles. And then we have some more urban jungle plants right over here. We have got some Dracaena, bird's nest fern, this croton banana. We have a croton petra on the right. And then we're gonna pan over here and you can see there are more urban jungle plants. This one is a Dracaena Hawaii. Really nice looking one. This is one that you would see like at Walmart that they sell for like $9.97. Then there's a garden expert one. This one actually is for $22.94, somewhere around that range. And then this is a beautiful Alocasia poly. You can tell this is a super healthy one just because the leaves are just vibrant. It has like a natural shine to it. The stems are nice and there's no yellowing. If you see any kind of yellowing on uh, this specific Alocasia poly, that might be a sign of spider mites. This one actually um, is one of the more susceptible Alocasias to get spider mites. And really, Alocasia in general are more susceptible to spider mites. They say Alocasia actually do better growing outside. You can really grow them and they can really upsize in leaf shade. And then we have another fern here. So you can see that there. this is the same fern that you saw earlier, but just larger. And then here's another fern here. Love the texture and the natural um, shine that these plants have. I don't think they really have like leaf shine on these. And what else do we have over here? We're just going to pan out and... That's a Dracaena masangiana or a cane um, Dracaena. That's really nice as well. I always like that green on green variegation. And then this is one of my favorite Aglonema, even though it's just really a red, I mean, a green one. This one is the Aglonema white margin and Costa Farms has released a lot of these in the 1.7 quart gallon. So I like that a lot. Um, this Aglonema white margin, what makes it special is the very white leaves and just the lining or the margins around the leaf. So that's really cool. I have, I ended up getting one and then we have some 
Majesty Palms here. You can't miss Majesty Palms. They are literally everywhere. And then we have um, a, waff a purple waffle plant. I, wa I am in the hunt to get a purple waffle plant. My Snow White waffle plant is doing amazing in near my kitchen counter and window. Um, it's not crisping. It's actually growing new leaves. So I like that. And then we have a fat shadera right here, just a regular one or a pia tree plant. Um, I like fat shadera just because they remind me of like um, sweet gum tree, maple leaves, just that the, the leaf shape is really nice. And then we have some Hoya right over here. I don't know specifically what this Hoya is. All I know is it's a Hoya and um, my plant foldies, I know some of you guys have requested to see a little bit more Hoya. If I run into a Hindu rope or um, Hoya compacta, you know I'm gonna go show you that. It looks like Costa Farms might be releasing some hanging baskets of unvariegated Hindu rope. So if I find one, you know I'm going to buy it regardless. So here is another um, plant here. This one is called Beautiful Home Decor. I just think it's really funny that, you know, Costa Farms um, names it um, Beautiful Home Decor. I don't know what type of croton it is, but it is a croton. And then we have a Fetonia Ruby Red. So as I've been looking at like exotic angels plants, I do think I might collect more Fetonia. And then we have a bunch of Rex Begonia right over here. Definitely love the pink silvery leaves. Very nice looking indeed. Um, so these are their um, exotic angels right at this low. So I'm sure that they're going to get tr um, new trays of them. And then we have a Dracaena Warnickii White Jewel. This is another beautiful Dracaena right over here. And this one's for $5.98. Um, all of the Costa Farms exotic angels, at least at Lowe's, are for $5.98, which is not bad. And then we have some more um, Majesty Palms right over here. They're starting to look a little unhealthy, starting to look a little dry. And then that one right over there is a Calathea Green Goddess, beautiful Calathea. And this is the same Aglonema Red Siam I've been looking at and the Aglonema Pink Siam. We have an Aglonema Golden Bay. Um, I definitely want to add that to my collection, another large leaf um, Aglonema. And these are absolutely stunning. We have some Alocasia. Um, I, Silver Dragon. Silver Dragon is looking amazing, although I prefer the Costa Farms Training Tropical self-watering planters that they've been releasing at Walmart. It looks like um, Costa Farms has just released um, the ceramic ones at low. So we'll see if they get a different upgrade or if maybe the self-watering planters are a Walmart exclusive for Trending Tropicals. But nonetheless, loving all of the Alocasia Silver Dragon. And then we have a bunch of um, Raven ZZs. These are all act actually all of the Trending Tropicals right now, at least at this lows is for $14.98. And then we have these Raphidophora tetraspermas right over here. I, I think if I'm going to add a Raphidophora tetrasperm, I'm going to go ahead and get the variegated version. So I just need to save a little bit of money. And then this is a beautiful ZZ Raven. So ZZ Raven, ZZ Plants, ZZ Zenzi, um, variegated ZZ. All of the ZZs are very easy to care for plants. Um, they're a little bit more slow growing, but you know, nonetheless, they're nice. And then we have some more ponytail palms right over here by Costa Farms. Not really a fan of ponytail palm or just palms in general, just because I'm afraid of like sp uh, not sp yeah, well spider mites, but also mealybugs. And then this is some form of Diphenbachia. Right over here are a bunch of roots of a Vanda orchid. So like I was saying before, if I'm going to add an orchid, I definitely want to add a uh, Vanda orchid because even if the um, the blooms go away, just the aerial roots has such a beautiful like interest about it. And then this is a nice looking Epipremnum arium marble um, queen pothos beautiful variegation i think that with marble queen pothos if you give it more light the variegation becomes less creamy and actually becomes a little bit more white they do have a snow pothos but it's basically a marble queen pothos that's just more variegated and then here's a bromeliad i actually picked up the pot to show you these are the kind of pots or planters i like i love these simple matte ones i think they're gorgeous and i just like simplicity when it comes to the planter or pot and then we have some more philanopsis um orchids right over here another vanda orchid this one's actually really nice love the deep purple and that one wasn't like food coloring dyed um orchids i don't really like orchids that have been like dye you know had food coloring to give them like a really blue color or really purple color i, I like more of like a natural look about flowers and we're just going to walk over here because most lows at least in the dfw or north dallas area have this little station like once you walk in they have um a couple of cinder blocks and some shelves and these are all for 14.98 um this is a Dracaena right over here. Um, so if you want a larger plant, definitely check this out. For $14.98, that is um, a really nice deal. This is a Diphenbachia. And I finally got the plant ID. This is a Diphenbachia Sparkles. 
Diefenbachia Sparkles will be probably be the first Diefenbachia I add to my collection. And I might end up just getting the Diefenbachia at this specific Lowe's location once I am off of my no plant buy. I honestly just have to um, rearrange a lot of my plants, just really get my house organized because at the moment I just have a bunch of cluttered plants and that doesn't really bring me a lot of joy. And then we have all of these trending tropicals as well. This is a Santhosoma um, plant right here that we've seen a lot. I think it's really cool. I do like the variegation. It reminds me of a Caladium slash Alocasia. And then we have some Bird of Paradise right over here. Some yucca plants here, Dracaena marginata. We have another yucca plant here, but I did want to walk over here and just show you how beautiful this variegation is um, for the Diefenbachia sparkles. And then we have some Calathea medallion here. These are for $10.98. Um, I do like the new planter that um, Costa Farms put um, with this one, just because the planter has more of like a matte finish, a honeycomb type texture, really cool. And that is an Aglaonema red Siam. We have some more um, bird of paradise right here. Not sure if it's um, a white bird of paradise, but nonetheless, those are large plants. And we're just gonna keep walking over here, some more yucca plants. So all of these plants, um, these large form plants, $14.98 is not a bad um, deal. And I really hope that a lot of people will end up buying these plants just cause I feel like if they don't end up getting sold, it's just a waste of plant. Just got to think about how much time it took to actually grow these plants out to this size. Um, we don't really think about it when we go to big box stores. And I actually talked to a couple of big box store employees. And basically, they're not as concerned about losing money because they don't lose money when the plant dies. It's more of the like you know, provider like Costa Farms. But here we are at another grocery store. Um, this is at Central Market. So Central Market is actually the bougie version of like HEB. They're owned by the same company or HEB owns them. And Central Market is, this one is off of in Plano. And we're just gonna walk over here. So um, HEB had some really cost-effective plants. So we're gonna see if these plants are um, just about the same. But as you can see, there is a lot more plants or at least the plant um, display looks a little bit more fancy. It looks like orchids are, um, they've got an orchid upgrade program so that's interesting so i'm gonna assume that a lot of people buy orchids maybe at this location or central market i have never really paid attention to grocery plants until recently so we're gonna see what the pricing looks like right over here but they do have a lot of plants i do like how it has like a jungle vibe on it um, i noticed that they do have some like cute little fancy planters but do you see this hedra helix right here this is for 30 dollars that's pretty expensive. Let's go ahead and see what this is right here. This one is another fern for $30. Um, this syngonium right over here is another syngonium for $30. This just looks like a typical like syngonium. So I, I don't know if the planters are just super fancy or expensive, but I definitely get the vibe that a lot of these plants are just a little bit overpriced. Like this syngonium right here is $30. Like if you go to like a big box store, you can buy a, a syngonium like that. And even like urban jungles or cost of farms plants in these like fancy planters are not that expensive. And then we do have this Dracaena here. I want to know what the Dracaena ID is for this one because I actually like this Dracaena. And this Dracaena is for $35. Um, I just think that these plants are a little bit pricey. I mean, especially for a grocery store. I mean, granted, you know, Central Market is more of an expensive grocery store. It's like more of like a fancy grocery store with lots of organic stuff. But like, I didn't realize that these plants are that expensive. This is another Monsieur Deliciosa right over here. Um, and then we have a Spathophile and Peace Lily here. And you can see this is an HEB um, pl uh, plant, or at least that's what it says right over here. And that one's even expensive with the planter. So. That's just interesting. Um, maybe they're looking for my, like, you know, stylistic aesthetics. Here is a um, wild interior syngonium. So this is a little bit uh, more cost effective. This is $12.99. Um, I like that. $12.99 is not that bad. We have a spider plant right over here. Um, that one's a really cute little plant as well for $12.99. So that's not bad, but all of the other plants that I've seen so far are a little bit pricey. This is some type of Tradiscanthia. This isn't the Nanook. Um, so I'm just curious to see if you guys have the plant ID for this. If you do, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know what this Tradiscanthia is. And then we have some, you know, assorted succulents. And then we have a bromeliad right over here. These plants look super healthy, so I'll give it that. Like here's a raindrop peperomia, 
Really nice looking one by Wild Interiors. This is also for $12.99. Love the sheen of the Peperomia. That's very beautiful indeed. And just the leaf shape of it as well. So that's that's really cool. I like that a lot. And you know, I'm gonna be looking for a variegated one. And then we have some assorted succulents here for $10 each. So um, that's okay, I suppose, for the pricing. But some of the pricing I've already seen so far is a little bit pricey. Let's look at this Peperomia obtusifolia. And we're gonna walk over here and there are some more plants. I do like the setup here. It has like this jungle vibe and we have some orchids right over here. These are for $24.99. So, I mean, that's still within the price range for a Phalaenopsis orchid, I would say. This one is really beautiful. I wanted to go um, zoom in on that, but we have some more tropical plants here. Some Syngonium and let's see, this Syngonium is another HEB one. And this one is actually more cost effective. That one is actually $12.99. So that's not bad for, for that. And you can see that that's like actually a grocery store type of plant because it has like that foil wrapping around the planter. This one's a Philodendron Birkins. Um, that's for $30. That's a little bit pricey. Um, I think a lot of these plants are pricey. Let's go see right over here. This is a philodendron black cardinal. I do love this philodendron. I got one by from Wild Interiors and I love the planter in that one actually. That's more of my speed, definitely. Um, I think Wild Interiors needs to go put more of these white, simple matte planters. Totally would buy, buy that and actually would buy that if I didn't already have a philodendron black cardinal. It's very nice. And then we have some sort of calathea here. I don't know the plant ID for this calathea, but this is also by Wild Interior. Look at how beautiful that planter is. That's the kind of planters I like. I love simple matte shaped planters. Very nice, modern, contemporary look. Um, that's kind of my aesthetic. So let me know what you guys like in terms of planters. Do you like um, glazed planters, terracotta planters? planters with texture kind of like that one with all of like the spikes so we're gonna see what else we have over here here is another hedra helix for thirty dollars that's really expensive for me i would not pay thirty dollars for a hedra helix knowing that it's probably going to get spider mites but i do like the setup of um central market i like the lighting it's basically an upgraded version of um, H-E-B. And we're gonna look over here. We've got some beautiful, cute um, tulips. And we're gonna look at this um, Epiprenum Arium Pothos Totem. This is for $90. I don't think I would pay $90 for an Epiprenum Arium um, poth um, you know, totem pole, I guess. And then this is $45 for this Syngonium. Like, I mean, this is a cool planter, but not for $45, just adding like a planter and then this Ethereum is also for $45. So that's a little bit pricey. I did want to say that this is um, quite interesting to go to a you know, grocery store plant shopping. Hopefully you guys like my little collage of different um, big box and grocery stores. Central Market probably has the most expensive planters by far or plants. Um, I definitely am not going to catch myself buying plants here especially since these are easy to um, find plants. So we're going to see what that looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'm hoping to have another one for you tomorrow. This is Richie at Growfolds. Bye.